Welcome to the Pilates Show Mondays outside the Pilates studio, where we get out into the real world to explore the mind-body lifestyle. I'm your host, Elizabeth Goyer, and today we're going to be talking about dorsiflexion. So as a Pilates student, I've noticed that when I get on the reformer that my two ankles don't move evenly, and sometimes that's kind of frustrating for me, and I know it also affects how I'm walking. So I actually learned a great trick from my PT about increasing dorsiflexion by slightly repositioning the talus bone, and I'm going to show you all how to do that today. So just as a reference point, if I use my left foot and I line it up with this yoga block and I try to go into closed chain dorsiflexion, I can almost, <laughs> I can almost get to the table, but not quite. So then what I'm going to do to help with that is I'm going to use a stretchy band and step through it, try not to trip, and then I'm actually going to put the foot I want to work on on the block, position the band so it's on the talus, and then I'm just going to bring the knee over, which is helping to bring the talus back under the bones of my leg so that it doesn't run out of space when I go into this motion. And you can kind of go to the inside, to the front, and to the outside. And you know, don't make it hurt, but you should be able to feel the tension on the bone. Um, and when you're on your own, you can just do this for as long as you need to. And then you come out of it, and then you can go back and check. And so same position, and bam, big difference. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time, and never stop learning.